hello Killer One B. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. It's time to read a book. So remember, sit down correct, take a breath, blow, and realize. Also remember to do our balloon game. Let's do it together. One more time. Excellent kids. Now, today we are going to read two stories. One is the gift and the other one is animal habitats. Let's read first the gift. Let's start. The gift. What animal is this one? Can you tell me? Excellent kids, it's a lion. How many lions do I have? Two lions, a big lion and a baby lion. Let's see what happened with a big lion and the baby lion. The gift. This one is a gift. And this one is a baby lion. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a lion cook who loved each holiday. <gasps> this lion loved each holiday. Wow! What did he like best? Can you guess? Could it be peace on earth and happiness? No. He wished for shiny red gifts. The baby lion wants some gifts like this one. This one that is color yellow, color green, color red, and color purple. Let's see what happened with the baby lion. He loves his beautiful rat gifts. He will sniff his gift. He will shake his gift like this. Shake. High up, high up like this. Overhead. And he will lift his gifts from bow to bow and glad to fly. He shy, he shy. The poor little cook loved thinking about his gift. The baby loves thinking of what do they have. While playing in the spring in pile of clover, the little lion stopped to think this over. When I am grown up, don't you see? There will be no more gift for me. Oh my God. The gift loving lion took off his plight and started to feel extremely uptight. He rolled in the clover, sniffing a buttercup, saying over and over, I will never grow up. I will never, never, never grow up. The gifts keep coming season after season. Sometimes they appear for no special reason. And the baby lion have more gift. Let's count how many gift do the baby lion have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gifts. 
from pound to pound and club to club, the lion cook a sheep his gift. He sniffed his his, his gifts and showed the, his gifts. The lion cook loved his gift. Nothing lasts forever. Time doesn't stand still. So the little cook grew against his will. He knew that soon the gift will be no more, and he showed his disappearance with a mighty roar. Because the baby lion was angry. That's why he grew a big roar. Time passed and the little cook was soon full grown. Now was a big lion. He had a, he had a wife and a home of his own. He didn't think of gifts to sniff and explore. In fact, he never thought of gifts anymore. Until one day, his wife gave him a very special gift, a son, a baby lion. He sniffed his gift and kissed his gift. High over his head, he liked his gift. From pal to pal and cloud to cloud, he sniffed his gift. At last, he knew this was his most incredible gift. He We are never too old to receive a gift. We are never too young to give a gift. Gift comes wrapped with the rions and wolves. But any smart lion knows the best gift is in the giving. The end. Do you like this story about the gift? Yes, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was when the lion were so big and his wife gave her a son, a baby lion. That was my favorite part. Now we are going to read the other book. Animal habitats. Let's start. Animal habitats are the big places where animals are found, like in the forest, the jungles, the rivers, the lakes, and the oceans. Animal homes are the specific places which in these habitats where animals live, like in a den, like in a, like in a den, a nest, a, a burrow or a hollow log. Fish, whales, dolphins and crabs are sea creators. The ocean is their habitat. In the ocean, they have a specific homes. Crabs bury, them, bury themselves in the sand and sometimes under the rock. Here we have some crabs. Fish and elves live in the crevices of coral reefs. Birds have many habitats, forests, wetland, ocean, prairies, and even right here in our neighborhood. Some birds, like eagles, make their homes in nests at the top of tall trees. Other birds, like puffins, make nests in crevices in rocky cliffs along the ocean. 
penguins make their homes in crazy burrows by the ocean. Apes, monkeys, tigers, and pandas live in jungles. Monkeys make their homes in trees. Tigers make their homes in rock cages. Here are some specific homes for family of animals. Ants. Here we have some ants living anthills. Bees live in gaps. Many birds live in nests inside of trees. Some rabbits live in burrows. Some bears live in caves. Here we have some bears. Raccoons live in hollow trees. Here we have two raccoons. Some spiders live in webs. Here we have some spiders. Hermit crabs live in shells. Ah, and cats and dogs live with you. Some dog and some cat live with you, like your pet. Many times we have a pet that is a cat or a dog. Excellent kids, I hope you love this two story about the gift and the animal 